Hello everyone, my name is Xiao Ping Li. I am a software engineer here at Sunrise Integration. And in this series, we're going to be talking about React Native and why it's an amazing platform for you to use in your next mobile app project. In this series, we will be going through exactly what is React Native, as well as show you how easy it is to create an app from scratch. So some of the topics I'll be covering in this series are setting up our correct environment for React Native, using the command line or CLI to initialize a React Native application, adding packages or libraries as there are many options that we can choose from. We're going to be adding a navigation, creating our own custom components, styling, and so much more. So before we begin, let's quickly dive into what exactly is React Native. React Native is a framework that uses JavaScript to develop native apps for both iOS and Android. That's where the native part of the name comes from. So React Native's main idea is to learn once and write basically anywhere. By learning one framework, you're able to tackle completely different platforms, iOS and Android, at the same time. Well, doesn't that sound great? Instead of you having to learn Swift and Objective-C for iOS or Java for Android, two completely separate applications and two completely separate teams, right? All you need is basically JavaScript and one team. React Native uses JavaScript code to actually build real native components, right? Meaning that when the code is compiled, it is all in native iOS and Android, not JavaScript code being rendered on an HTML page. Some of the main features of React Native is that it is cross-platform meaning you're able to develop it on any platform, whether it is a PC, Mac, or Linux. Well, of course, there are some limitations on the iOS side, as you will need to use a Mac or user framework built on top of React Native, such as Expo, to build for iOS. But to run the iOS simulator or even run it on iOS, you will need a Mac. There are also features such as fast refresh that allows you to see changes in real time. As soon as you press save, you can see the change happen immediately in your emulator. So now that we know a bit more about React Native, let's check out some history. React Native was developed by Facebook for its internal app development. At the start, the only platform of focus was iOS. It only finally went open source in March of 2015. So the idea was, by using JavaScript code, it was possible to generate UI elements for iOS from a background JavaScript thread, which then basically became the basis for the React web framework. React Native was actually a hackathon project in the summer of 2013. iOS was first supported in March of 2015, and then Android was later supported in September of 2015. Now, React Native is now one of the most popular choices for mobile development. Many companies have already adopted React Native as its mobile development tool, such as Uber, Microsoft, Walmart, and of course, Facebook and Instagram. If you have used the apps on your Android or iOS device, it was built using React Native. Now, enough about that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the app we're building for this series. Okay, so here's the app that we're building today. It will be a workout app that basically have five screens. Onboarding, there's login, sign up, forgot password, as well as the home screen. Each one of their own screens, their own components that will be rendered on the navigation container. We will be building out each screen, styling them, and finally hooking them up 
to Stack Navigator. All right, so I hope you guys are as excited as I am about creating this app from scratch, as well as React Native. In this part, we talked about React Native, exactly what it is. We also talked about some features, and we also went through what are some companies that are actually using this platform already. Now, in the next part, I'm going to be talking about proper dev environment setup, as well as creating our first project. That's right. I'll see you guys there. Let's go.